It's July 1st, 2023. I'm Todd Dunn, and today what I'm going to do is a sort of summary of the lobster rolls I reviewed in June of this year. And I went to four places. I went to Thurston's, Archie's, Beals, and Charlotte's in that order. Uh, Thurston's and Archie's are over in the town of Tremont in Bernard and Bass Harbor, respectively. And Beals and Charlotte's are both located in Southwest Harbor. So what I'm going to do is I made up a sort of matrix of several uh, different factors that I'm going to talk about uh, as I go through the four different lobster rolls. They are price. Uh, my impression of the lobster in the lobster roll, and then the roll itself, in other words, the bread. Uh, what I thought about value, what did you get for your money? And finally, the location. Now, I'm not weighting all these equally. I'm uh, giving the lobster uh, up to 10 points. The roll, I'm only going up to five points because obviously the lobster is more important than the roll in a lobster roll. After all, lobster comes first. <laughs> uh, value, that's just basically a function of the lobster roll and how much it costs. And then the location, I'm gonna address things like uh, parking and uh, seating and how scenic the location is and give a ranking from uh, 0 to 5 for location and 0 to 10 for value showing that from my perspective what's important uh, when you're deciding where to get a lobster roll is is it a good lobster roll in other words is the lobster good and are you getting good value for your money so let's get going so here's my matrix. I've got the four places that I went listed, and we'll run down th through the prices. Now these are the prices, including Maine's 7.5% sales tax on restaurant food. Uh, so these are a little bit higher than the listed prices for the lobster roll. And these are all for a small or four ounce lobster roll with the exception of Thurston's. And I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so I went to Thurston's first. I didn't buy a four ounce lobster roll. What I bought instead was uh, what they called a jumbo, which was a nine ounce lobster roll. But I'm not gonna compare that price-wise to the others where I did buy a four ounce lobster roll. However, Thurston's small lobster roll is actually a six ounce lobster roll. So you're getting quite a bit more lobster there. Despite that, it was the most inexpensive or least expensive at $28.48. So that's the cost of the lobster roll plus sales tax. That was my walking out, would be a walking out price. Archie's, a little bit more expensive, $30.24. Beals was the most expensive at $36.55 for a four ounce lobster roll. That's inflated a little bit because they actually charged me $2 to get the lobster roll for takeout as opposed to eating it there. And Charlotte's was $32.35. So there's your price range almost, well, more than an $8 difference from the cheapest to the most expensive. Okay, what does my lobster rating include? Well, it includes several things. The quality of the lobster. Uh, is it, you know, from nice, good-sized lobsters, or is it from little lobsters? They call chicken lobsters, the sort of one pound to one and a quarter pound lobsters. Uh, or, and how well is it cooked? Is it overcooked and tough? Or is it just right? And, you know, how fresh does it seem? Is the lobster meat nice and sweet like it's supposed to be? Or is it perhaps a little uh, 
bit older because it's been sitting around for a while. I remember for a lobster roll, the lobster is cooked, the meat is picked out of the shell, and then it's ref refrigerated until you make the lobster roll. So you know, it's possible that that lobster meat could be from the day before. Shouldn't be, but it could be. Uh, and the other factor, I was uh, buying all what they call classic lobster rolls, which are lobster mixed with just a little bit of mayonnaise to, and then put into the lobster roll. So the quality of the mayonnaise and how much mayonnaise is going to be a factor. So let's look at the four places. I gave Thurston's 10 out of 10. Their lobster was, as far as my palate goes, perfectly cooked. No problems at all with it. It was not chewy and tasted nice and sweet and fresh. And the lobsters that they used were huge. The claw meat was gigantic, you know, three, four, three and a half inches long. Uh, so that was, you know, two pound lobsters probably that they used to get the lobster meat. Archie's uh, used uh, meat from large lobsters as well. Nice big uh, claw meats. And uh, it, but it was just the tiniest bit tough, which I think probably reflected the fact that they may have just left it in the water when they were cooking it a little bit too long. But it tasted fresh and was nice and sweet. Uh, however, uh, I thought they overshot on the mayo. There was visible mayonnaise on the lobster meat, so you know, that was a demerit. As a consequence, I gave Archie's a seven and a half, largely because I felt the lobster was maybe just a hint overcooked, and uh, the, there was too much mayo on my classic lobster roll, for my taste. If you like mayonnaise on your lobster roll, you know, it might have been perfect for you. Remember, these are my rankings. Beals was next. Uh, Beals used nice, good-sized lobsters. They got about the right amount of mayonnaise. You could taste that there was some mayonnaise there, but it wasn't overpowering, and you couldn't even see it on the lobster meat. It was, you know, just about the right amount. Uh, but I felt that the lobster was maybe just a tiniest bit overcooked and a little bit tough. So, you know, that caused me to lower the ranking down to nine for Beals. Charlotte's uh, suffered in, her, in the lobster ranking basically from one thing. Charlotte's used small lobsters, chicken lobsters. Uh, I think the bigger lobsters have better meat and, you know, that's a subjective thing. And it may be just that my lobster roll was made with meat from smaller lobsters and, uh, you know, the chicken lobsters. And if I bought, if I'd gone back and bought another lobster roll, it might have been made with bigger pieces of meat. Hard to say. But uh, Charlotte's lobster came in at 7.5 on my scale. So about the same as Archie's, but for a different reason, because Charlotte's used meat from small lobsters and Archie's overshot on the mayo. Charlotte's mayo level was just about right, maybe just a tiny bit heavy, but not uh, nothing like Archie's. So those are my lobster ratings. How about the roll? Remember, I'm rating the rolls from zero to five. Well, Thurston's got a three. Their roll was just inadequate. It actually fell apart in my hand while I was eating the lobster roll. And, but I don't blame the roll for that. It was a standard New England uh, hot dog bun, toasted, buttered, you know, well-made. But Thurston's put so much lobster on it that the roll just wasn't up to it. Remember, the Thurston's small lobster roll is a six-ounce lobster roll, so it had 50% more lobster meat than anybody else and the roll just wasn't big enough. And it just didn't stand up to all the lobster that was on it. So that isn't really a condemnation of the roll. It's sort of a 
you know, Thurston's put too much lobster for that roll. Really uh, not uh, a big negative, really. But because of that, I gave the roll a three. Archie's, Archie's uh, did pretty well on a roll. It was a good roll. It was a standard New England hot dog bun. And it was well toasted. It was, you know, about the right size for the amount of lobster meat they put on it. It held up well and, you know, it was fine. Uh, I didn't really taste it, which basically is the way I want it. I buy a lobster roll for the lobster, not for the bread. Beals, on the other hand, used a very high quality roll. Their website says it's a brioche roll. A much bigger roll than any of the others. It was well toasted and buttered, so it was a, a good good roll. All just by itself, it probably would have been a good roll to eat. Uh, it was much bigger than the others, so the amount of lobster, four ounces that they put on there, was no problem. Didn't have any trouble with the lobster falling off the lobster roll, or the roll itself sort of giving up. So. It was a, a good roll, so I gave it a five. And Charlotte's basically the same sort of bun or roll as Archie's used. It was well sized for the amount of lobster, and it wasn't anything special, just a standard New England hot dog bun. And uh, so, you know, gave it a four like I gave Archie's. Now, what about value? Well, Thurston's lobster roll was a six ounce lobster roll. Everybody else was a four or maybe a four and a half. So, and Thurston's was the cheapest. So clearly Thurston's was the best value of all the lobster rolls that I tried by a big margin, 50% more lobster for the lowest price. So Thurston's got a 10 on value. Archie's, had uh, good quality uh, lobster, uh, good roll, and uh, maybe too much mayo, but you know that's sort of neither here nor there on value. Uh, and um, so I thought that was, uh, and it was the second cheapest. It was uh, about a dollar seventy-five more than Thurston's, but you know I thought it was a good value, so I gave it nine. Beals, on the other hand, was the most expensive by far. $8 more than Thurston's and uh, for less lobster. Uh, yeah, it had a great roll, but you know, I just didn't think, I thought it was overpriced given the market. So I gave it a six because of that, largely because it was so much more expensive than anybody else. As a matter of fact, Thurston's has a jumbo lobster roll with nine ounces of lobster meat, which is twice as much lobster as Beals puts on. Uh, I could have bought one of those for 70 cents more than what Beals charged for their standard lobster roll. So you now Beals just doesn't cut it on value. Uh, Charlotte's, well, Charlotte's was kind of in between on price. It wasn't the cheapest, it wasn't the most expensive and simply because it was about two dollars more than Archie's and uh, because of the fact that I thought that they could have used meat from bigger lobsters I didn't think it was such a great value so I knocked it down to a seven. Now we come to location uh, and location I'm going to be looking at parking and the loca if you decide to stay there and eat what's the spot like? Have you got a nice view? Is it gonna be noisy, traffic noise, something like that? Uh, and you know, those are the main considerations. Thurston's, well, Thurston's is on Bass Harbor. And I mean that quite literally. Thurston's Lobster Restaurant is in a, on a pier out over the water. And uh, the first floor of the pier is where they buy the lobsters from the lobstermen. And the second floor is where they cook them and serve them to you. Has a great view out over Bass Harbor and is just a really scenic spot. So I gave it five out of five. They also have plenty of parking. 
Now, some of it you might have to walk 100 yards from, but it is dedicated to Thurston's, and there's plenty of it. So unless you went there during peak dinner hours, I don't think you have a problem parking. What about Archie's? Well, Archie's is located in an old uh, lumber yard that's right on the waterfront in Bass Harbor. And uh, as a consequence, as I said, it's right on the water. The seating, some of it, if you seat, sit on the end of the picnic table closest to the water, at high tide, you'll be about five or six feet from the water. Doesn't get more waterfront than that. Uh, so it's a great location in that respect. It's an old lumber yard that they own, and there's lots of parking, no trouble getting in or out, and uh, plenty of room, and you don't have to walk very far. About the farthest you have to walk is about 100 feet from anywhere you might park, and you're there at Archie's. They have good seating, picnic tables outside with umbrellas over them to keep the sun off you. And in one of the old uh, lumberyard buildings, they have picnic tables inside if the weather is a little bit inclement. But they have big doors that are open and you can still see the waterfront. And Archie's has a nice sort of lobstering decor uh, with a kind of lobster trap art scattered around the place. So it, I gave it a five because it is a waterfront lobster restaurant with a good view. Now, Beals. Beals is located right at the end of Clark Point. The Coast Guard base is on one side, and the other side of Beals is right next to the lower town dock. Beals' seating area uh, basically looks out over a combination of the parking lot. And uh, you can, however, if you kind of angle your head a little bit, look out and get a sliver view of Southwest Harbor. So, you know, you, it is a waterfront location, uh, but it's a little bit limited on view. You can't just sit pretty much anywhere and have a view of the water. You have to uh, maneuver around and get a good spot to see out over the water. Um, parking. Beals has its own parking. It doesn't have a lot. There is town parking nearby, uh, quite a bit of town parking, but at peak times for Beals business, the town parking does fill up. And I have gone down into that area to go to another business down there and not been able to find a place to park. So uh, parking can be an issue at Beals and some of the town parking is 150 yards away. So you could have a bit of a walk if you get there at a busy time. So because of the you know, parking, some of it being a little bit distant, and the view, although it's okay, it's not great, uh, I gave Beals a four for location. Now Charlotte's. Charlotte's is inland. It's not near the water. You cannot see the water from Charlotte's. It's also right alongside uh, Highway 102A and it has limited seating it has a few picnic tables uh, outside in front of the building that are right next to the road and it has a couple more uh, under a sort of awning next to the building uh, and from there you can see the trailer park that charlotte sits in front of so the views from charlotte's are not great and you're if you're on the picnic tables out by the road cars are going to be zooming by you uh, just 20 feet away. So you're going to get some noise from that. Uh, a plus side for view at Charlotte's is uh, the house across the street uh, puts food out for deer and wild turkeys. And you can usually see deer and or wild turkeys across in their yard. So that might be a plus for some people. Uh, and Charlotte's is only about a quarter mile from the seawall picnic area in Acadia National Park. So you can buy your food at Charlotte's and spend three or four minutes going down to the ocean front picnic area to eat it, assuming you've paid your Acadia National Park entry fee. So because of the fact that Charlotte's, uh, you know, doesn't have uh, 
any kind of water view. It's inland and it's right next to a road and doesn't have much seating. And most important, it has very little parking. There's only room for maybe half a dozen cars. So parking at Charlotte's can be an issue. And if you get there at a busy time, it will be an issue. So because of that, I gave it a three out of five. So let's look at my overall rankings. Thurston's, I gave it 28 out of 30. I knocked it down from the top of my rankings because the roll really wasn't up to how much lobster they put on it. Uh, I gave Archie's 25 and a half out of 30. It was my number two ranking. Uh, I dinged it mostly because uh, I thought they put too much mayo on the lobster and the lobster might have been just slightly overcooked. Seemed a little tough to me, but that's just me. Uh, Beals, 24 out of 30. Uh, the biggest uh, deduction for Beals was because it was so expensive for what you got. And it miffed me that they charged me an extra two bucks to let me carry it off the premises. So that, that was uh, annoying. So I gave it a 24 out of 30. Charlotte's, well, Charlotte's lost uh, because I thought they could have used bigger lobsters. And, uh, and the value, it was a little bit expensive, not as expensive as Beals, but the second most expensive. So value wasn't that great. And their location is not that great either. Uh, largely because of limited parking and no view. So Char Charlotte's ended up with 21 and a half out of 30. So that's my ranking. This is subjective. This is my ranking, not, uh, you may have a completely different view of it, but from my point of view, if you want a big, well-cooked lobster roll with tons of lobster on it in a place with a really nice view, go to Thurston's. Can't beat it in Southwest Harbor or Bass Harbor, at least of the places I've tried. There are still three more places that I need to go to, and I will rank them at the end of July after I visit them. Okay, thanks for watching. That's it for Lobster Roll uh, reviews for June 2023.